we'll do, we'll give it another couple of minutes, but let me show you what I pulled um, at pre-release. As you guys on Twitter would have seen, I pulled Zinnia, my chase card. So I'm very happy. It's out of the way. We've got it. Uh, Moon Tolga, thank you for the sub. Um, so yes, um, very, very happy. Um, for Gatherer, thank you for the follow as well. I'm very happy to get my chase card from, this was from pack number four from my pre-release kit. So as the last pack, I hadn't really pulled anything. I pulled the right two hollow um, and I did pull another hollow, I think. Flaffy was my pre-release promo, so very happy to got th get that. What is my second chase card? Um, good question. It's probably going to be a special art because obviously I, I want the five full art supporters. I've got the most expensive, I think the one that's going to be most expensive, which is Zinnia's Resolve. Um, so the next one, I would say, is going to be a special art. Um, but which evolution special art is it going to be? Umbreon? Espion? Um, probably Umbreon, to be fair. I, I want to get that Umbreon. Um, so yeah. Do I want to be famous? <laughs> uh, MFW. <laughs> Okay, right, let's get started guys. It's been over five minutes. I don't usually wait too long. We'll crack on now. Let's get into the participation pack, see what we get first. So as I showed you, Nahal's um, participation packs, that he opened four of them off, off camera just before the stream. Reason he did that was because he's got terrible cough at the moment. So he just keeps non-stop coughing. He did not want to do that into the microphone and put you guys off. So um, he selflessly opened those off camera and um, didn't get any better than a Marshadow Hollow. There's a Pikachu in here, so very nice. Uh, we've got a Hoppip Reverse Hollow. Ooh, and we've got an Octavish V. That's our first V from Evolving Skies. And it happens to be a Fossil Abomination. We'll pop that there. Let's uh, sleeve it up. Why am I so so lucky? Oh, I'm missing the chat here. This is the problem with the uh, with chats. N7 Gizmo, good evening. N7 Gizmo, I'd like to say that your card arrived safely. Um, the card that I purchased off you. So thank you so much for that. That was a Marnie. Um, that's now been added to my collection. And thank you so much for the two Sosos as well. Very uh, very grateful for those as well. Cardboard hands. Touch me. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do the pack trick on this one. Four to the front. And we've got a fire energy. Fluffy. Now, this is the original Fluffy. I'll put that to one side so we can compare it with the pre release promo version. Because as you guys should know, pre releases. So, those of you who've never been to a pre release or you opened a build and battle kit, um, you're going to get one of four promo cards in an evolution pack, which I will show you guys in just a moment. We've got Floet and Pinsa as our rare in this one. But uh, you get one of four pre-release promos. Does, they've usually picked because they've got a good ability or they've got a good attack. Uh, that'll be very easy to pull off in a pre-release. And yeah, so you get an evolution kit with it, which so you get 23 card evolution kit. And with that, you then open four packs and you're meant to build a 40 card deck um, to compete with. Uh, you are given energy from the organizers. They will give you the energy cards you need in order to build your deck. All you've got to do is provide 40 cards and there are no limits like there are normal building for Pokemon um, decks. Like usually you can only have four Eevee, for example. In pre-release, you can have as many copies. If you pull six Eevees, you can put six Eevees in your deck. There are no limits. Ooh, Reggie Lecky. I've got a couple of these non hollow versions from my um, pre release kits, and I used that attack several times with Fluffy's combo, which really helped. Um, so, yeah, that was very useful indeed. Gordy would be the cherry on the cake for my openings. Yeah, it probably would be, to be fair. <laughs> um, that would be, yeah, Gordy. Uh, it's going to be one of the cards I need anyway. Somebody on online is selling it for forty-five pounds starting bid, but then again, they're also selling Zinnia's um, 
resolve for the same price so i think they're just generically sticking a 45 pound starting price on everything uh, that they opened yesterday by the looks of it dream ball um i did put one of those didn't put it in my deck very situational in that sense zinnia's resolve you can play this card uh if you discard two uh draw a card for each of your opponent's pokemon and play that was quite useful um a few times gory gang is exclusive yeah yeah 45 pounds can you believe that that I, I think i bought all of my gordies for less than that that's all of my gordies combined we've got chincho from so so is in this set very nice glad to have that in this set dino uh i'm coming charizard uh high fee to enter definitely a high fee to enter the gordy club appleton reverse hollow rare and ooh, nice sylveon v uh a very nice v cards pull yeah one of my opponents had this and they used the dream gift ability quite often very nice ability once during your turn you may search a deck for an item card Reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. If you use ability, your turn ends. So again, in pre-release, there's going to be times quite often where you cannot attack very early on. So this becomes very useful with Dream Gift. So if you're not throwing an attack, you can at least get an item card in your hand. And there aren't many cards to make you shuffle your cards back into your deck. So, you know, or it works pretty good. Your opponent can't get you to do that. Did I notice the Dragon Mark? on the top right of English cards is different. Oh yeah, it is. So let's have a look at that. That is a lot more subtle and not so nice as the Japanese cards. Let's see if I've got a Japanese cards to hand. I would do because I've been sorting cards out. Okay, let's uh, compare this, as you say. So there is a Grandpa Grandpa. And there is Appleton in English. Quite clearly, very distinctly different. The Japanese just look so much better. It looks like the cards being gnawed at the corner. Clawed at the corner, should I say, not gnawed at. <laughs> but um, yeah, that is well spotted. Well spotted indeed. Okay, we're getting down, we're getting down. What have we got now? Four more of these packs before we get into our pre-release kits where there's another 12 packs awaiting for us. So let's uh, do the pack trick, four to the front. I know some people like doing the pack trick where they're putting the uncommons behind the reverse hollow and the rare, but I just put the uncommons at the front and then go with the commons, which probably isn't the best way to do it. It's just less fiddly. Because I know I'd usually muck it up. I love this artwork. Fantastic. Teddy Ursula. We got a Fletchling. Abomination. Fletchling. Pincer again. Okay. Yeah, the turn end part is not so good. You're absolutely right there. Get a secret rare. <laughs> Those of you who used to follow me and Al on our early days of. Um, um youtube when nahal used to be on my channel regularly so those of you who don't know nahal is my son and he used to be in my videos on a regular basis and we did a series when guardians rising was out was called um hunt for tapu lele and then whenever we used to pull a secret rare we used to say it's better than a tapu lele um but uh, it was uh, it was a little meme that nahal started which is uh, very good. Altaria is our rare in this one. Again, with a not so great looking scratch on the corner. Yeah, you love a good card sort. Yeah, I've got the, I'm very lucky. I've got the Ultra Pro card sorting trays. I've got two of them. Very difficult to get. They're very cheap, but everyone sort of sells, resells them for like 10 times the value. And you can never find them anywhere. And they're, they're, they're not the most sophisticated of things, but they are definitely, definitely um, worth having for sorting your cards out. So I've got two trays which I use. And what I tend to do is I sort all my Japanese bulk out. So what I do is first thing I do, 
is I sort them all out by colour, um, so by type, and then I go and sort them out by number, and then I have them all in a stack, and then I sort out um, separate stacks where there are no duplicates whatsoever, and then I bundle them up and I sell them online to people who are new to Japanese, who want to pick up Japanese cards, maybe get a taster, or people who just want to start an instant sort of collection as such of Japanese cards. So I do hollows and Vs with uh, commons and uncommons so people can just get starter kits of Japanese boxes without committing to buying a booster box essentially. And they do pretty well on my eBay store actually. You can go and check out my eBay store. Um, I think I've got a link in my description in, on YouTube. I don't think I've got a link in my description below here. But yeah, so that is the first few packs. Nothing amazing apart from the two V cards we pulled. So very happy with those, uh, which is not a bad return. And I was going to say we're going to compare the Flaffies. Look at the artwork. So this is what happens. So you get an alternate art um, as a pre-release promo and you get the set promo stamp there as well in your 23 card evolution deck. So I'll uh, open up one of these kits. So those of you who've never seen this before will get an opportunity now to see what a pre-release kit is like. So I will need a blade. All right, Nahal, go and get some rest. I'll come and look after you in a little while. <laughs> um, we'll get some rest for now. Okay, let's... Yeah, the scratch looks like somebody messed the layout up in Photoshop and moved it by accident. It does, doesn't it? Absolutely does. Okay, so here it is. So this is what it says on the back of a pre-release kit. 23 card evolution pack, including one of four unique foil promo cards, four uh, Sword and Shield Evolving Skies booster packs, and a code card for the TCG Online. So let's have a look at what the box looks like. We have got fantastic Umbreon on the back and it is by Igawa I think the artwork I think all of this artwork is by Igawa it looks very much Igawa styled I'm sure yeah all the packs are by Igawa let's see which one we've got in here oh we got Galerian Moltres so before we go into that this is what you get so if you've never op opened a pre-release first thing you get is a description of what the set is what kind of cards to expect and what the sort of theme of the set is you then get building tips, so it tells you what to do, how to build a deck, some tips about things to look out for, to leave about sort of energy space for um, 13 to 16 energy in your deck. For new starters, I'd say maybe up to 20 even. Um, limit, yeah, so the no limits apply as it's stated. And then on the back of this, you've got your normal set list only your numbered cards, not your secret cards. So it only goes up to 203, which is Zinnia's Resolve, uh, full art. Uh, so you won't see any of the rainbows or higher in this list. Okay, so let's uh, get this first kit. Move this out of the way. And let's see what we've got. We have got... Like I said, the Galerium Ultras. We have got uh, one of each artwork this time, which is very nice. Igawa, all pack art so far from year two has been done by Igawa. Oh, okay, cool. Are these releasing today? Hello, Mark Dollar. Um, Pre-releases have started today, in the UK at least. I think some places might have started yesterday. Uh, but most pre-releases in the UK have started today. So yes, this set's not released until another couple of weeks But pre-releases are out today. So that's a special code card that gives you a pre-release kit online And then we've got our 23 card evolution deck So because this is Galerian Moltres, you'd expect there to be some dark Pokemon in here So let's see fingers crossed for the alternate let's hope so let's hope so so um, this is an alternate art like I said you got stormy mountains um, th this is quite a useful stadium for me basically once during your turn each purse player can uh, look for an electric or dragon type Pokemon 
so very good for dragon types milo so as you can see milo is from rebel clash you do get supporters in here or item cards that are not from this set but are very useful for a pre-release so it's worth noting that from these 23 cards they're not all going to be evolving sky in this evolution kit obviously the ones in the packs will be we've got alistair from vivid voltage here as well Sonya from Rebel Clash. Then we've got Amolga, which all the Pokemon will be from this set. So Amolga was very useful as well. Zero retreat costs. You can do 30 damage and paralyze your opponent, and then you can just um, switch them out, which was very useful for me, especially in the deck with Flaffy, because I put this out there. I can paralyze my opponent. In the meantime, I could be powering something up on my bench with Flaffy's Dynamotor, something like this, Regilecki. So Regilecki. Um, where did I put the other one? It's here. Let's uh, let me show you guys. So in these evolution kits, you do get, like I said, exclusive non-hollow versions of cards. So Regilecki is hollow in the main set, and in this you get it as a non-hollow, two copies, which is pretty unique. Sometimes people who collect master sets want um the non-holo versions as well because they are printed and some people want to go for like a complete master set every single version of every single card so that is there you do sometimes also get these non-holos in uh, pre-release kits as well this one's got obviously a line of uh marie and flappy as well so you've got two flappy two marie very useful indeed for the reggie lecky and their mulga so i did use that combo quick ball very nice um very useful card evolution incense very useful with fluffy professor's research sonia alistair again and then we got zoroark and a zoroark line as well and i think zoroark again is a hollow in this set but you get three copies of the non-hollow version uh, triple line of zoroark so very useful it's got an ability once during a turn you may choose a stage one pokemon except any zoroark from your discard pile if you do discard this pokemon on all attached cards and put the chosen pokemon in its place so you could literally dump all your flaffies in your discard use zoroark and um swap them out goal quick ball is live on tcg oh very yes thank you for mentioning that um prime lugia thank you zachariah um but yes are all yes okay Right, so that's Evolution Kit. I'm gonna keep that there so I don't mix up the cards with the regular set so I know that I... Do you know what, actually, before I do, let me just pull out the cards that are probably gonna be... I'm not sure about Zoroark. I'm pretty sure it's a hollow in the set, but I'll just put those to one side and we'll put our pre-release promo there as well. Cool, okay. Let's uh, move on to the packs. Mm, I don't know that one. <laughs> um, got it from the Twitter post. Yeah, good work. Yeah, always positive. Thank you so much. Looks like we've got something in this pack. It's a white code. And I saw a border of some sort. Let's see what it is. Is it hollow with a bit of a bleed like we usually get on the edge? Or is it something better? Ursa Ring. We've got Fletchling. I did get a Fletchling line in my evolution kit as well. Um, Scraggy. Hippopotas, Timpole, Litleo, we got Ampharos, very nice, Reverse Hollow, Re and <laughs> what was I saying on my last stream, guys? What was I saying about um, <laughs> Rainbow Rares, how I've stopped collecting them and now I stop keep pulling them. I pulled two Rainbow Rare supporters in my last video. I got... What did I get? I got um, Cheryl and Karen's Resolve, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, it's a sign, Cardboard Hands. It's a sign. <laughs> um, it's a sign. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I've stopped collecting these. What am I going to do? I, I, like I said, I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to sell the rainbows. I'm going to keep them. But... Um, Am I going to actively fill the gaps? I don't know. I don't know. It's very few to fill now, the way things are going. But uh, we'll we'll continue. So that's an awesome pull. Okay, second pack here. First pack, sorry, that was first pack. We got a reverse holo rare in Ampharos. Amazing. 
let's 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 not just sort of go straight over that amazing artwork on this beautiful card and a, then we got a coffee cat as well so yeah very good card there was somebody at pre-release who pulled the full art of that they did not want to sell it which is understandable because they do play they're a regular player so copycat is going to be a very useful card for them so um yeah that was the only other full art supporter i think that was pulled at pre-release that i went to so yeah i was happy i got the pre-release kit that i did um definitely definitely glad i got the zinnia's resolve okay we've got something of texture at the back of this one as well uh, Pikachu, Applin, Lilip. We've got a lucky ice pop. It's definitely a lucky ice pop because we've got. Ooh! <laughs> nice! Now, these in Japan were um, from the VMAX promo packs. So very nice to get this. This is part of the main set. It's uh, Vaporeon VMAX. We had a Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon and Espeon VMAX were all part of those promo packs from the Evolution box, VMAX box. But yes, very nice. So for a colorless energy, put a water Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. If you do, Attach up to three water energy from your discard pile to that Pokemon. Wow, that's a pretty decent attack. Uh, Max Torrent, if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, this attack does 100 more damage. 200 damage! Four of water and two colorless. Very nice. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful kit so far. Look at that. Two stunning pulls from two packs we've got copycat and vaporeon v max very nice i'm very very happy with that okay let's look at pack number three what we're going to get in this one um i think we're probably burning all of our luck in this first pre-release kit um don't know what, what else we're going to get in those other two let's see let's see how we get on okay so we've got a baldor a skip plume with solar evolution ability when you attach an energy card from your hand to this pokemon during your turn you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this pokemon and put it on this card pokemon to evolve it then shuffle your deck so hip hop what's the next one so you could possibly yeah just skip it straight to the cool chinchu dino pump kaboo got kavana gossy fleur DM your pre-opening pack rituals before this. Oh, <laughs> Hypno, Reverse Hollow, and we've got Stoutland. Okay. Back to a bit of normality there. Just the regular rare. And let's see what we've got in this pack. Okay. Four to the front. And We've got uh, leaf energy, grass energy, whatever you like to call it. Pulpy Toad, very nice artwork on that as well. Crustle, so so Crustle, so that's good. Two so so cards that were missing from the last set have found their way in here, which is very nice. Got Psyduck, Pyro, and Ulterior. So, yes. Cool. Um, so, that was the first pre release kit. Very happy with that. Let's move on to the second one. See what we get from this. My pre-opening pack rituals. Um, nothing much really, just hope and prayer. The person that you need to ask is <laughs> about pack rituals is um, one of my friends, Rab, on, uh, on uh, Twitter. And obviously, OK J Love, who's here, um, he's got he's, he gets some insane luck. But then again, he did go through a streak at the beginning before all those good cards that he um, didn't pull such good cards. But he, he pulled some good, awesome stuff. But then again, I suppose it comes down to volume. When you open lots, you're going to end up pulling decent good pulls as well. Right, let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got the Galarian Articuno promo this time. So we're doing well for promos as well. Let me just sleeve up. So Galarian Moltres, we've got three out of four now, which is good. If we can get the Zapdos, then we're, um, we've got all four promos as well. So we'll have to wait and see what we get in the last one. 
What is the flavour of the ice pop? You must know. <laughs> um, yes. Okay, let's have a look. What the evolution line in this particular kit is. Okay, let's pop that code card down there. So, with the Galerian Articuno, we have got a uh, copycat. Let me just pop that just there. I'm going to sleeve that in a sec. We've got copycats, which is from this set. There we go. We pulled the Marnie. We've pulled the Marnie today. <laughs> um, Evolution Incense from Sword and Seal, Shield base. This is from Battle Stars, Karina's Focus. Zinnia's Resolve from this set. This one has got the Fletchling, Flachinda and Talon Flame. Just a bit tricky, obviously, because it's a stage two to pull off. Quick Ball, Evolution Incense, Sonya, Alistair, Zinnia's Resolve again. And then we've got the Zoroa and Zoroark line again. Um, yeah, not the greatest, but still a good... Um, evolution line there i i think the other fluffy ones a lot better personally speaking so um yeah this kit it sort of mix and matches to be fair so you'll find you might get the same promo but two different um evolution lines in there but it varies jabra is a scam streamer <laughs> yeah he's a clickbaiter clickbaiter that boy is <laughs> Let's see what we got in this one. Okay, white code card. That's always a good start. Um, what have we got? What have we got? We've got Fighting Energy, Avalug. Very nice. Looks very, very... First of all, the scale of it looks huge, doesn't it? Right? What's the height of this thing? Six foot seven. Okay. It does seem quite big. But it's quite wide, isn't it? But it does seem very imposing in this uh, image. Snow Leaf Badge. Gordy, Gordy Gang in the house. Gordy is in the house. Uh, Phoebus, Hippopotas, Lillipop, Nicket, very nice Nicket, Bergamite, Timpole, and we have got a Dialga Hollow. Very nice. Pop that down there. There is our giant skyscraper. Oh, no, I'm not keeping the pack arts. Okay, I need to open this pack very carefully. What I try and do is. I think I went offline. Am I still with you guys here? My laptop went offline there for a minute. Did I lose you guys or am I still there? I'm live. I'm live. Okay. Might have blinked. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I'm going to try and keep pack art. I'll try and keep one of each pack art. Um, where I can so I forgot to do that as I went through all of this anyway let's let's get through this pack let's see what we've got in this one Flachinda Shopping Centre Cutie Fly Applin Sableye Nicket uh, Bergamite uh, Fletchling and ooh yes very nice we've got SP on V beautiful we're getting some of the evolutions today this attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon V. It's a single Psychic Energy does that damage. Very nice. Snipe whichever V you like with 60. And then Super Cybolt does 120 for a Psychic and a Double Colorless. Oh, a Sarah pulled a full-out Zinniar as well. I saw she'd pulled the Batman Neuvern. Um, that is very nice. Andy, hello mate. How are you today? Can I say hello to you earlier? I'm not sure. This chat, I've got this. I need to set up. First of all, I need to invest in a big proper rig. Then I need to set it up with a big monitor so I can split properly because I'm running this off. <laughs> sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. Um, then I need to set it up on a bigger screen and get this stream manager sorted because at the moment I've got too much of the activity feed at the top and not enough of the chat stream here um, to keep you guys now. And then I need to start putting some music in here as well and doing other stuff. Yeah, it's just funds, funds. 
That's what we need. I need a sponsor. I need a channel sponsor. That's what I need. Right, four to the front. Nicey, hello. Glad to have you here. And let's see what we've got. Okay, one of my favorite types of energy, psychic. Talking about psychic energy, how did your community day go, guys? Before I started the stream, I checked how many shinies I'd got. I got 14 Eevee, Eevee shinies. Not bad for the first day, considering I was at pre-release most of that. Oh, fantastic Komia artwork of Drampa. And we've got a flapple there. Very, very weird looking flapple. Where is its head? Is that its mouth? No, there's its mouth, yeah. It just seems well out of proportion. It's obviously in the foreground and the body's in the back, but it looks like that's the main part of its body and it just seems really weird. But then you see the perspective of it. The back is there, its face is just oof, in your face. But yeah, cool. You got seven today, very casual play. Yeah, um, you found not a single Eevee so far, Tamid. Oh, that's a shame. Now, yeah, I had an incense on because I was in town. Um, I There were some stops around as well. Somebody had put a lure module on one of them um, while I was playing pre-release, which was very useful. Um, so I had my gotcha um, collecting Pokemon for me in the background. Um, so yeah, I didn't actively, actively play. I had the gotcha doing all the work for me. I had 1500 Pokeballs stored for today. I'd been saving up for the last two weeks. Stored, ready for this weekend. So I was very happy with that. Sharpedo and Lombre. Okay, that was a white code card, guys. Is Are we getting the same as Chilling Rain here? Remember my Chilling Rain box? Was it Chilling Rain? Yeah. We were getting green code cards and pulling VMAXs. I just don't know what was happening there. Okay, let's get to the final kit now then. Final kit, let's open this up, see if we get anything special. Can we get the final, final one? You don't know how that's even possible. Popped a couple of incenses, nothing. Zilch. That's really confusing unless they haven't turned it on in your region, which seems very strange because I would have expected some. Like I said, in the six hours, whoa, almost knocking my camera over. In the six hours, I got, um, 14 without even trying so that it was pretty good um, Spawn rate as far as I could see But like I said, I was in an area which was very densely um, n Denser than normal um, For me anyway area of um, Pokemon spawns uh, Your pools have been very much green crap white good you pull the Espeon V and the Full Art Dragonite V. That's very good. The Full Art Dragonite is a very nice card, Nicey. Um, my pre-release pulls usually are terrible. I have terrible luck at pre-releases. Not often. Uh, there's our Galarian Articuna again. Let's see if this is slightly different. So the last one we got was Fletchling and um, Zoroa line. Let's see what we've got in this one, if it's going to be the same. It looks like it might be. Let's see. Yeah, it's got the Fletchling and yeah Zoroa so it's exactly the same as the last one okay sometimes it's different sometimes it is different right let me put all these evolution kits in one of these boxes so I don't mix up these cards then I can then um, filter out the non hollow hollows if the hollow non hollows hollow non no no the, the, the yeah you know what I mean uh, let me sleeve this up uh, anyone wants to swap, if anyone gets a duplicate Zapdos, Galerian Zapdos pre-release promo, let me know. We can do a swap. I've got two of these. It'd be nice to have all four. Sylveon. Let's see what Sylveon is going to give us. Right. Ooh, it's a white code card. Let's pop that down there. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's hope this is a lucky last kit. If we can uh, do any better I'm, i mean i'm a winner today as it is i've got the zinnia very happy with that got a couple of uh evolutions as well so very nice to have those v's so we've won already that's the first shell gone i've pulled i think very nice and we've got a salamance as well do we have the full evolution line in here or not no i don't think we had the bagon but that's pretty nice cool 
let's see what we got. Should we leave Ray till the end? We'll leave Ray till the end. Let's open the skyscraper. See what we get in here. And just so you know, Zachariah, I did. You debate. I took your advice, and I did wear this Pokemon T-shirt today. I always wear a Pokemon T-shirt um, to pre-releases, and I wore my new Gengar one. I'll show you the back of it as well, so you guys can see. Can you see that? There you go. <laughs> but yeah. Right, have I done the pack trick with this? I think I have. Let's see what we got. Okay. It was another white code card, wasn't it? I think I just looked at the pack trick and realised I'd done it and I'd seen what the card was at the back. And it's not a white code. Yeah, so just be wary, people. If you get white codes out of this, you might not necessarily get hollow or better. Don't go by the code card colours. It's been like this for the last few sets. Let's see what colour this one is. White. Let's see if we get anything in this one. Okay. Penultimate pack now, everyone. So let's see how we get on with these last two packs. We've got a Nicket, we've got a Bergmite, Crygogonal, <laughs> Petty Little, Nicket Reverse Hollow, and again, white code card, and just a regular rare. All right, final pack. Let's see. Ray, can you give us any luck? Just rub the pack for some luck. I've been robbed, mate. I have, haven't I, Andy? Been robbed, mate. I've been robbed. Okay. White code card. Can we get something sensational in this last pack? Or are we going to be robbed once again? Time will tell. Full face guard. We got an Eevee. We got a time pole. Cutie fly. Applin. Looking at its reflection. We got a right hand, very nice, and we got robbed again! What's going on? White code cards, and uh, no pulls to... This is this is just disgraceful. You guys saw this live opening. Pokemon Company, you, you, need, to, you need to compensate me for getting my hopes up with those white code cards. <laughs> right, let's have a look. What did we get today? We have done very well indeed. Um, so from my pre-release and from my pre-release kits let's uh i didn't put the hollows in here but from our four uh pre-release kits we did very well we got three unique evolution promos so we got uh, promo 122 123 and 125 just missing promo 124 which is the galerian zapdos so yeah very well if anyone does get a duplicate zapdos hit me up we'll do a trade if you need a galerian articuno uh, so that was very nice and then our pulls for today were the Arctivish V, Sylveon V, Espeon V, so two of the Evolution Vs. We've got a Vaporeon V Max, very nice, which was uh, from the SP4 set in, was it SP4? I think one of the SP sets in Japanese, which was a promo um, that only came in the Evolution V Max box. And then we got the Copycats and Zinnia's Resolve. This was my chase card. I'm very happy to have pulled that from my pre-release kit. Pretty awesome kits to be fair. Look, we pulled the Marnie today as well. Look, Marnie. So yeah, awesome overall. Very happy with my pre-release. I'll sort these cards out in order. Then I'll see how many I'm missing from the main set. I'm missing loads of Vs and Vmaxes. Again, I'm not going to be actively searching for them. I'm going to be trying to get hold of... So you guys know I do half booster boxes, right? And I open them regularly on my channel. So I'm going to be trying to get hold of the Evolving Sky ones. Any of you guys want any of those Evolving Skies half booster boxes, hit me up, DM me in Twitter, because I'm going to try and get as many as I can. I might not get them 
release week so it'll be after the set's released in a couple of weeks but it might be mid-September towards end of September uh, but if you're interested let me know I'll probably get a case of them again uh, but yes, yeah, not bad for three quarters of a booster box. Indeed, I have done awesomely, Necro. Very good. Yeah, the way you, you've mentioned that's 28 packs in total. Yeah, it is literally uh, three quarters of a booster pack. But yeah, um, hit me up if you guys need anything. And thank you so much for watching. 17 of you viewing today. We're up to 113 followers, eight subscribers. Um, have a wonderful evening. I think this has worked out pretty good because it means you've got the rest of your evening to go and enjoy now as well if you're in the UK. And I managed to catch some people from other parts of the world as well. Enjoy yourselves, um, stay safe, and make sure, yeah, tomorrow we still got EV Heroes uh, Community Day tomorrow as well. So if you missed out today, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., don't forget to evolve your EVs within it's usually within an hour or two hours after the event finishes so you can still get the special moves but yeah check that out um but yeah have a great time and i'll see you guys soon take care bye